I'm going to show you how to create a CV in Mahara and we're going to do that by going to your uh, resume area which is here. Now this is divided into various tabs and it basically just breaks down all the skills that an employer is likely to be looking for and Basically, you can just go in there and add any text and also add any images that you like. Now, once you've done that, what we need to do is then to put that together in a, into, in a web page. So what we would then do is we would click on Views. And I would click on Create View to create um, a new web page. And I'm going to go to resume and what I can do is I can actually put my entire resume on here or I could I can do it one field at a time so I'll just demonstrate that so I'm just going to change my layout I've currently in fact I think I'll stick with three and I'll go with a larger column in the middle there we go and I'm going to put my the whole of my resume in here. I'm just going to do that simply and I'll call it um, uh, Tim Tim Morgan CV. Okay, that's good. And so in actual fact, what we've got, if I just click this display my view, we've got my entire CV, all the details that I put in before, in the center panel. Now I'm going to add a video to this side. Uh, and this is a video that I created myself and put onto YouTube. So I'm just going to drag this here. And I'm going to paste in the URL. So I'm just going to select that and copy. Paste the URL in here and then hit save. So you can see it's automatically put it in there. And I'd like to put a, add a picture of myself as well. And I'm going to need to upload that to Mahara. So I'm going to go back to my uh, click back on the Mahara link here go to files and browse and here we go this is the the image that I'd like to bring in so open that it's gone into my files area so I'm now going to go back to my resume which is within my views Here we go. I now need to click on edit content and now I'm going to just drag the image icon across and select the image that I want. Hit save. See it's already resized it for me. And the only other thing I now need to do is to, to give my CV a title. So I'm going to give it a title as well. And again, I'm going to call it Tim Morgan CV. And done. Okay. So now, when I go to my CV, you can see that I've got my image. I've got relevant information that an employee would like to see. And also a video that I took. If you find that there's too much information here, what you can do is you can put in one part, you can, you can put the resume or the CV in one part at a time. So if I just delete that out, move this in, and what I can do, I can just select, let's say, I want to select personal Goals, no, let's say academic goals. Okay, so that is now coming in at the top and I might then want to follow that 
with certifications, accreditations and awards. And so you can actually then, in that way, build up the page exactly as you'd like it to be. Okay, and that is the end of the tutorial.